Okay, I gave myself too many treats already, but I'm just making here some handy macros so we do not have to write so much in what is coming now. Because now, now we will actually use our new histogram goodness to do the actual profiling that we wanted to do. And we will, the first thing I want to know is exactly for, if you know, look at the values here. So this arithmetic decode function is called a lot. And I want to go to arithmetic decode bitmap. And I think I want to, to time the inner loop in this function. I want to time the inner loop that does the context building, the decoding and the writing. And I think I want to time these things separately. So let's, let's make ourselves some histograms. Um, hmm. So arithmetic decode in a loop context will be the first one. So we only need the name here, this is very nice. So we will have context decode, so arithmetic decode bitmap, let's say, and store. For the store, actually, this would be already difficult because our overhead in the measurement will already be significant here. So the context building starts here. So let's call this, uh, yeah, let's give them XXX names so they stand out more. Of course, our histogramming will have some cache effects here. So we will try to keep our histograms small to not make this too bad. And we add here RDTSC minus Yeah, I hope we don't get too much too much code before the RDTSC, but we can check that. But I think that's it. Of course, we also must initialize the histogram, but this we will do. This we will do. Actually, I guess I should move them to a kind of anonymous name. Wow, there, are so there is so much stuff here. Let's move them to an anonymous namespace here.
I hope this RDTSC is not scary or it's somewhere else, but I compile it over, whatever. Okay. Now somewhere here we will actually init our histograms. Histogram init auto. No, not not name. It's just adb in our context, and then we need the low value, right? This is so much nicer with the macro. So we have inner decode context should actually be the first one. And decode context and store. Actually, I think I want to make these a bit smaller. By default. For sure we have some syntax error in the macros or not. Did I forget to take an address? Yeah. I forgot to take an address. How will these histograms look? I'm so, I'm so much longing to see that. Yeah, of course, now things are even much slower because of our overhead. <clears throat> Which is quite significant, as you can see. We also will trample our cache a bit, so that's not something to forget. Maybe we should make the histograms even smaller. Interesting. Oh, we still have some debug. Uh, I should have. I should have highlighted them. This is so useful. This we will keep for now. Okay, that's it. So the context histogram looks very interesting with two peaks and a, and a tail that is very, 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 very long. We need to resolve the tail some more probably because this is extreme. But this could also be an artifact of the RDTSC measurement method. So for sure we have already 96% accumulated here. 
So that's the interesting stuff that really costs us a lot. And uh, how many cycles are we here? Fewer than I expected, I must say. Fewer cycles than I expected. Okay, the de decode, actually also quite fast. I mean, those times are much better much better than I expected. But still, I mean, it's just a huge number of cores multiplied. Let's see if this is any way, if this is in any way realistic what we got here. So we got so many cores. And we did 50 iterations of the decoding. So per, per coding we have so, that is the number of that is the number of loops that we do. 2.5 million loops. And let's see. Let's take the medians. So 85. thirty-five point five. 28.5 yeah I mean this is getting this is getting in the neighborhood of the total cycles that we measure so actually Actually, the functions themselves are not horribly slow. But they are slow, of course. I mean, 85 cycles 2.5 million times is also something. So this is something we will definitely try to get down. These 85 cycles. Uh, I forgot, do we have actually the... Yeah, this is one baseline that we had with this 400 million cycles. So that matches about our calculation that we did here with that one. So let's take a baseline of the context function here, the context building. And let's actually save this in any case. The second peak here could be a cache, if, cache miss effect. So this is about 100 cycles more than this one. Could be some kind of cache miss. I don't know. 
we will i mean i think we will mostly look at the median and maybe at the, these numbers we don't have the, the 99 percentile because we have these outliers that are too far out so it cannot it cannot really estimate the 99 percentile reliably reliably enough see how nice our histogram code is it thinks about all these things so it thinks about yeah i cannot really guarantee you that 99 percent are there and there because this bin is too wide this overflow bin and so on lots of these little nice details that this histogram code do does mm. i'm actually wondering whether i should use hashes here would this be nicer I mean, here the stars look very nice. Oh, I'm getting defocused. So let's try to do something for the context stuff. 